Herbal Tea for Allergies, a soothing way to get allergy relief. Made with some of the best herbs for allergies. Simple and affordable to blend at home, herbal tea is one of the best ways to use herbs as medicine. It's soothing, it comes in direct contact with the most important systems of the body, responsible for supporting a natural immune response. By blending your own tea, you can make it just the way you like it. I'm Cian Cosell, and this is Farmhouse Teas. Today, we are making an herbal allergy tea blend. Spring is here, and with it comes the sneezing, the nose blowing, the scratchy and watery eyes, you know the drill. Just when we were glad that the sun is finally out, it's time to deal with those seasonal changes. Whether your allergies are seasonal or otherwise, your immune system starts to kick into gear during an allergy attack. Any kind of allergies can be related to your overall health, especially gut health. 80% of our immune system is located in our gut, along with much of our lymphatic system. Seasonal allergies can be caused from pollen, dust, mold, grass seed, and other environmental factors. During the spring, our bodies are also naturally in detox mode and ready to flush things out. Along with changing our diet in the transition from winter to spring of eating warm, hearty soups, stews, to eating more fresh greens and fruits. Spring can be a difficult time of year for our bodies. Stress can also take its toll on our gut, which in turn makes it harder for us to handle allergens as they come by. No worries though, there are herbs that can help boost the body and in turn, your body can more easily combat these seasonal allergies. There are six main categories of herbs that can help you. Vitamin C is the first on the list. It's full of antioxidants that boost the immune system and help the body deal with stress better. Some great herbs that contain vitamin C are things such as rose hips, orange peels, hibiscus, cranberries, acerola, and lemon peel. Healthy digestion is key to your body being able to better process the histamines that are created by the allergy response. Herbs like dandelion root, chicory root, licorice root, marshmallow root, and slippery elm bark, they are some of my favorites. Not only does vitamin C help with your body's ability to cope with stress, there are also specific herbs to work with vitamin C to do the job. Herbs such as tulsi, holy basil, lemon balm, spearmint, chamomile, and don't forget the ashwagandha. Boosting the immune system is also a key factor so that your body has all the support it can get to fight off those allergens. Of course, we all know about elderberry for the immune system, but don't forget the elder flowers too. They are just as important. Also stinging nettle, it's packed with nutrients and it's the king of allergy relief herbs. Astragalus is also another great one. Our lymphatic system is responsible for removing waste. The more waste that is stuck in your body, the harder it is for your body to remove the histamines. Our lymph needs lots of help too because it doesn't move unless we do. Along with exercise, the lymph-loving herbs can help clean out histamine reaction. Herbs such as red root, chickweed, calendula, that is my favorite flower, cleavers, and dandelion to name a few. Our last group of herbs here are ones that are best for dealing with seasonal allergies while the allergy attack is happening. Decongestant herbs help remove the congestion that is caused by the histamine reactions. Aromatic herbs are usually the best, including ginger, peppermint, thyme, and oregano, while mullein can help with any congestion that's in the chest. Wow, that was a lot of herbs. It's great, there are so many to choose from, but what is the best way to take them? When using herbs, they need to be taken more often and over a longer period of time. For this reason, herbal tea is a great fit. It tastes great, especially when you make it at home, and it also coats the area we are trying to get the herbal benefits to, the gut. Plus, it's simple to make. Hold the phone though, herbs aren't the only way to support your body during allergy season. 
Some other great remedies for allergies are right in front of you. Stress reduction helps your digestive system work better as well as your lymphatic system. Reducing stress by having a daily quiet time, both at morning and at night, doing things like reading, going for a walk, taking days and weekends off, maybe taking a vacation and making sure you have prayer time are all great ways to aid your stress reduction, your gut health, and your lymphatic system that in turn help your body's response to allergies. Building up your gut health is also extremely important using things like probiotics and also prebiotic foods like leeks, dandelion greens, garlic, onions, chicory, asparagus, and bananas. Those all really help feed the probiotics. These are key to help building a great health foundation. Also, don't forget to remove the junk food, clogging up those important systems. White flour, processed white sugar, packaged and processed foods can be holding you back from enjoying those sunny seasons. Oh, and that E word, I don't like it any more than you do, but exercise is super important. It is the only way our lymphatic system pumps out the crud and keeps our systems clean. It also helps aid in digestion. But the herbs, the herbs, we can't forget those lovely herbs. It's time to turn those into a warming, comforting tea. Let's get blending some tea for allergies, shall we? This is a recipe we use here on the farm for my son. He drinks it daily during the spring. This blend is a nettle-based tea, so let's get that added first. Then it's time for some spearmint because this needs to taste great. And oh, we can't forget the mole in here. It's the decongestant in the blend. Next up is the lemongrass, also again for flavor. Then it's time for the nutritional and immune boosting herbs with elderflowers, oat straw, and plantain leaf. Last but not least, some movers and shakers with ginger root and fennel. The best way to put those herbs into action is to make an herbal infusion. Now we're going to steep one to three tablespoons of herbs in eight ounces of boiling water for 15 minutes. Sip and enjoy often. Or if you prefer it chilled or room temperature, place one ounce of herbs in a quart jar and top it off with clean filtered water. Put the lid on it and let it steep overnight on the counter or in the fridge. This allergy tea brews up a light amber color, great especially on ice during those warmer, more allergy prone months. The hint of spearmint and lemongrass is refreshing and calming. If this blend doesn't suit your taste, no worries. There are many different herbs that can help boost your body's fight against allergies. Remember, it's best to start sipping this before allergy season starts, but later is better than never. Make sure you grab the printable recipe for this tea blend and the related blog post. I'll pop that link down below in the description. And if you make a different version of this allergy tea or blend up the one here, send me some pictures of it on IG. I'd love to see your tea blend. If you have any questions about blending your own allergy tea, make sure to let me know. Don't forget to subscribe for more growing, creating, and sipping videos here at Farmhouse Teas. And if you enjoyed this video, you might also check out this one here.